Tribal state volunteer and staff teams have already been trapping thousands of European green crabs. The hope is that federal funding could help to ramp up those efforts. Walking along Little Neck Beach with leaders from the Jamestown Sklalem tribe in Clallam County, U.S. Senator Patty Murray and Representative Derek Kilmer got a first-hand look at the work of trappers trying to stem the tide of European green crabs. What we're really trying to do is capture the first generations to arrive so that we can get a leg up on them. <laughs> the Lummi Nation declared the invasive species an emergency in 2021. In 2022, Governor Jay Inslee also raised the alarm for the way that these crabs damage habitats, disrupt life cycles for shellfish and salmon on up to orcas. Today's trapping efforts came up short, meaning mitigation may be working well here. But statewide, the invasion isn't over. We've definitely been successful in many areas. With the Lummi Nation leadership, it looks like they've uh, maybe have hit the, you know, a good part of re suppression in the sea pond. We'll see how that works this year. On the outer coast, those crabs are very prolific, and uh, that's an area where we're going to have to put, put some special emphasis this year. The state is expected to put $6 million annually toward the problem, but Senator Murray says the federal government has so far only allocated staff time, even as the issue impacts Oregon and Alaska, too. Whether it's Fish and Wildlife Service or the Bureau of Indo Indian Affairs or NOAA, these agencies have a really important role to play. The tribe noting it will continue working with its partners to do what it can. Uh, we really appreciate that the is this issue, this threat um, is on your radar. Hoping for an infusion of resources to help protect the native species that call these waters home. From Clallam County, Erica Zucco, King 5 News.